Highlander IDs. Okay, um... Kurgan's just died, and, um... It was Michael Ironside and is it Mario Van Peebles from 2, two and 3? They, they died. Okay. And uh, Highlander's going on with Jazz. I haven't got to Highlander 4 yet. I haven't seen Highlander 4 yet, but I'll get to that. Anyway, um... On Zeist, there's a council scholar. And sort of a, a scholar who has affairs over managing some, some of these idiots who've gone off to Earth to fight it out for the prize. Which is... <laughs> young'uns, is what he really thinks. But, uh, sort of, he's, sort of... He's in, um... He's, he's had a note passed on to him about um, what's happened to these clowns and they've met the maker. And he's just making some notes. And he's just opening up a large volume and um, reading a few notes and uh, just looking at this and that in a large volume. Mm. And he looks at the wall, the, the world of Zeist, and um, he consults with the clans which Kurgan, the Ironside character, the people's character, are part of. He looks at his volume and consults with the clans that are part of, and makes his assessment and writes down a few notes. He just consults with the clans and writes down a few notes. And he places them in Drogada. He, he makes an assessment of what they should be learning. And places them in Drogada Moors. In Highlander sort of... Scottish Moorish sort of territory. Because they've got some lessons to learn about their main adversary. So it makes that assessment. And... Uh, time passes... And the, the next scene is that there they are at Drogada Moors. Those three at Drogada Moors, which um, are a craggy sort of outcropping of rock on a moorish sort of land where it's a bit misty and uh, there's a few skanky hoes hanging around and they're in a sort of castle sort of structure. And um, it's a Highlander sort of Scottish Highland castle sort of structures, sort of structures uh, hanging around, with rocky outcrag cra of rocks. And um, Kurgan is sort of gazing towards the Ironside character as he approaches, and he's doing this with his hands because it's a bit chilly and breathing out some fumes. Um, sort of as, as you do in the mist, and um, they're dressed in their typical garb, and they go and goes inside and to the fortress.